Hi, this is Dave with Backrow Mapbooks, and today I'm going to provide a quick demo on how to do some basic trip planning. So to get started, I'll open up the trip planning menu on the right hand side. And the first thing I'd like to demonstrate is dropping a waypoint. So if you click on this, it'll activate the waypoint tool. And then when you click your mouse on the map, it will bring up a dialog for dropping a waypoint. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll put in a trailhead and select the hiking activity. But as you can see, we offer roughly 40 custom icons. So depending on what type of activity you're interested in, feel free to choose uh, whichever icon is best suited. Once you're happy, click Add to Trip. And you'll see now that I've added it to the trip, it shows up as a feature in my trip planning. So if I were to click on this magnifying glass, it will zoom to that POI feature. And if I click on the red garbage can, it will delete that feature. So again, I'll bring it back just for the purpose of this demonstration. And then once you're finished dropping waypoints, you can click this tool again to uh, deactivate it. So the next thing I'd like to demonstrate is uh, drawing a line. So again, you're going to use the mouse and basically click wherever you'd like to drop coordinates. And sometimes when you're digitizing, you might find that you make a mistake and you want to get rid of a certain node. So in order to do that, you can actually click on that node in order to remove it. So continue tracing the feature. And then when you want to finish, you double click and that brings up a dialogue. And once again, click add to trip. So now you can see I have a point feature for the trailhead and I have a line feature for the hike to the viewpoint. So if I click on the magnifying glass, it will use the extent of the line feature to zoom for the lines. So this is a basic trip planning example. Um, now that I have a, a trailhead and a, a trail, I'm going to click Save Trip. And this has been saved into my account. So if you want to uh, come back to this trip or edit this trip at a later date, you can access it through the user dashboard under your saved trips. and then click Open Web Map. So you can see here is the point and line feature that I'd saved. Uh, we also have a few other options. Um, you can save this as a GPX file or save it as a KML. And uh, so GPX files, those are great for use within uh, Garmin Map Source or Garmin Basecamp. And uh, you can also transfer them to your GPS unit. And KML files, those are good for uh, Google Earth. So if you would like to um, plan your trips and then view it within that platform, KML is a good option for that. All right, so I think that covers uh, basic trip planning. Thanks.